Hey, what is up? My name is Chris and welcome to Coding in Public. Today I want to show you how using simple vanilla JavaScript you can make these little active link indicators showing whatever page you're currently viewing. Now, your page, your site probably won't show blog in huge letters right across the top, um, but even if it did, if you're further down the page, you may forget, hey, wh which page exactly am I viewing? And if this is floating like a fixed nav bar or something, it's nice to indicate that to your viewers. You come to About, come to Contact, come to Home. I'm going to show you how to do it with JavaScript so that you don't have to hard code it for each page on your site. All right, let's jump right in. So I've got the basic HTML and CSS written out here. And uh, every HTML page, I've got several here, home, about, contact, index, they're all the same thing with one exception. Uh, I've changed out the text in this H1 tag to show uh, whatever the page actually is. All of them, though, have this basic nav bar that just have links out to index, blog, about, and contact, as you might expect. So you probably wouldn't hard code each of this. You'd have a, a at the very least a static site generator, or you know maybe you've got a WordPress site or something like that with this. But the point is, is you've got a nav bar and it links to a bunch of different pages. Now what we want to do is see if there's a way to use JavaScript to apply a special class to indicate which uh, which page you're currently viewing. So if I come over here, I've got a class written. I'll show you in a second, and it's just called Active. And whenever that class is applied to any of these nav links, this is the styling that gets applied. You can see over here, I've just got this is selector that says, hey, if I've got any link that's got a link attribute active or visited, then apply this class and this class, then go ahead and apply this styling to it. Now, what we're going to do is run over to our JavaScript and let's go ahead and first of all, remove this so that we're not hard coding it. That's the whole point in doing it in JavaScript here. Uh, each of these pages also has this uh, JavaScript file loaded and I've got it deferring so it loads after the body. You can also just put it at the bottom of your body document as well. I just typically like to keep everything linked at the top so that I can find it easily whenever I need to. But if I come over here, the first thing we want to do is we want to actually figure out which page we're currently viewing. And the easiest way to do that is let's just declare a variable here. We'll call it active page and we're going to look at window.location. All right, and then let me go ahead and console this so you can see this. If I uh, refresh here, you see we get this object, this location object that lives on the window. It gives us a bunch of cool stuff in here. Um, you see it's got some methods, but what we're interested in is this path name. So path name tells us that um, this is the file that's being loaded. Let's come back here then and add that in here, path uh, name, and then I'll save it. And now we're just getting the path name itself. That means if I come over to blog or to about or to contact, all of them have this same JavaScript file in it. And so it's going to look at the current location of whatever page we're viewing. So you see your contact is loading contact. Uh, home is going to load our index.html page. So we can use that path name on the window location object to determine uh, if we have any links in our nav bar that match that path name or that at least that included. So what we're going to do is the next thing is we're going to go ahead and say, let's grab our nav links. We'll just call it nav links. Here we want to say query selector all. We're going to select our nav tag and then any link tags inside of that. And then we're going to run a little for each loop on each of those links. So we'll say for each link and then we'll do an arrow function here. And if you're not familiar with arrow functions, I've got a whole series on how to write functions, the different ways to do it and why you might choose one over the other. But suffice it to say, what we're doing is we're saying, hey, we've got all these links and we want to loop through them one after the other, after the other, after the other. And when we're looping through it, we're going to check something each time we loop through it. Now, what is it we want to know about the nav links? Well, we want to know what link they're pointing to. So let's go ahead and just console log. We're going to do link.href. All right, that's the link it's pointing to. And when I do that, no matter what page I'm viewing, it's going to show me all four of the links in my nav bar, where they're actually pointing. What I want to know then is the link ref, and we're going to run a little if statement here, if it dot includes the uh, name of our active page, that text from the active page. We can add that by doing backticks and then doing this template string syntax and saying active page. So if it includes the active page, whatever link we're looping through, so if home does or about blog does or about or contact, then let's go ahead and just console log, uh, console.log, and we'll do the same thing. We'll say active page. All right, perfect. So if I come over here, it's going to say, hey, there is a link, and it shows that. This one, there's a link, and it shows that. Contact, 
um, there's a link and it shows that. So it's basically just telling us, hey, I found a link that matches the same uh, as your window itself. Now we're not wanting to console log. What we're wanting to do is to say link dot class list dot add active because none of them have it initially when it loads the page each time it's never going to have anything on any of the pages but as soon as i save it here it should look say hey is there any link that has the same that includes this path name in its href and there is it's called home when i go to blog now blog does and now about does and now contact does so with this little simple little for each loop you can quickly loop through and indicate to your website visitors which page they're currently viewing if you like these kind of tutorials, please go ahead and subscribe, like the video, and comment below. If you get stuck at all, I will try to include some basic code in the description so that you can follow along if you get stuck. All right, thanks so much for watching, and happy coding. I'll catch you next time.